The Hotel Nano Plus is the only real DJI Mini 3 Pro competitor. Both models are ultralight drones below the 250 grams threshold, have a comparable retail price. In this video I will put them head to head for a merciless shootout in terms of photography. I will not go here in depth into the specs of the two drones, as I already treated it in my specific photography analysis of the two models. I will publish a link at the end of this one. I know that most of you want to see some nice pictures, and I'm gonna show you a lot of them later on. But there are some important differences that I will quickly underline. The Nano Plus has a 0.78 inch sensor, with a fixed aperture of f1.9 and is capable of shooting photos at a real resolution of 12.5 megapixels. The sensor of the Nano Plus has a RYYB color filter, which is supposed to improve the quality of images in high dynamic range and low light situations. The Nano has a defog option with three strength level that can be used both for video and photo. I find it very useful for improving the structure of the sky or to cut through hazy conditions. The Mini 3 has a 0.77 inch CMOS sensor, almost the same size as the Nano Plus, with a fixed aperture of f1.7 and a real photo resolution of 12 megapixels. The Mini 3 has the added benefit of shooting vertical photos and videos. It is a feature that I really appreciate for extra creativity in photography. It will also be very interesting to try panoramas using vertical images. But the quality of JPEG file is very important for users who don't rely on computer post-processing or need to post their image immediately on social media. The good news is that the JPEG file in both models are excellent and respond very well to color grading. Both models are equipped with a quad Bayer sensor, which is able to split each pixel into four smaller ones, thus obtaining a sort of higher resolution photo mode named 48 megapixel in the Mini 3 and 50 megapixel in the Nano Plus. I find this label misleading, a sort of marketing gimmick, as the benefits are very limited, nowhere near a real resolution four times higher. In the Mini 3 we have to zoom deeply to notice a slight increase in detail, but in this first iteration, in situations of high dynamic range, the images show a huge amount of chromatic noise in the shadows. Therefore, I don't suggest using this mode until the issue will be fixed by a firmware update. With the Nano Plus, the increase in quality using the 50 megapixel mode is, in my opinion, more evident. In both models, the files of these higher resolution modes are quite demanding to post process if inserted on a video timeline. The raw files of both models have an area in the middle with higher luminosity and the tendency towards a magenta cast, which is quite annoying. This is due to the fact that most raw processing programs don't have a specific lens profile yet. When I compare two drones, I always shoot in the same light conditions, with a couple of minutes of difference between the two models. This time I couldn't do it, as my Nano Plus is not feeling well at the moment. So the images are shot in the same locations and with similar light condition, but a few days apart. I 
As you can see, there are noticeable differences both in the amount of detail and in the color rendition. It is in large part a matter of personal preference, so let me know your opinion in the comments below. Let's turn the camera down to get the sky out of the frame, reduce the dynamic range and concentrate on detail and color rendition. I have noticed that there are mixed feelings about the Nano Plus, half of the comments I get are a big praise for the huge amount of detail and the sensational low light performance, while the other half think that the image is over sharpened by software. A few times I've been accused of being sponsored by Hotel. Not only I'm not sponsored by any brand, but I don't even receive the drone months in advance like most other YouTube reviewers. I put all the gear I review under very stressful condition and underline any faults that I find, regardless of the manufacturer. In my opinion, the Hotel Nano has a huge amount of real resolution. We notice detail that cannot be conjured up by over sharpening. We also don't see any of the artifact caused by software sharpening. In most cases, I find the extra resolution very useful, especially in the foliage, the vegetation, and in the shadows. At times, it can be a bit too much, especially in architectural features. But it is very easy to reduce detail by blurring locally, while it is not possible to add detail if it is not there in the first place. The difference in detail between the two drones is very evident, but the images shot with the Mini 3 have an excellent balance and look very natural. I certainly would not say that the detail is poor. Once again, I can perfectly understand some user preferring one model, and others the other one. Now the matter of all big drone tortures, shot against the sun. As I said earlier, sadly the images were not shot in the exact same light conditions, but I've tried to pick very similar situations. Both drones cope extremely well with the sun in the frame, the lenses in both models are excellent and we don't see nasty flares or loss of detail and saturation around the sun. These are results that would have been unthinkable only a couple of years ago. I find that the Mano Plus managed to gather a bit more light in the shadows, probably due to the RYYB filter, it has therefore a slightly wider dynamic range. On the other hand, the colors of the Mini 3 are more organic and consistent. Once again, the two models play in the same league, and the choice is mostly a matter of personal taste. The Nano Plus performs incredibly well in low light, to the point that in my analysis of footage with this drone, many users would not believe that the clips were shot at night. For night footage or photo, this drone comes from another galaxy. Probably due to the combination of the RYYB filter and the f1.9 aperture, in post-processing, it is possible to make these images look as if they were shot in full day. In low light conditions, the Mini 3 puts up an excellent performance. It is amazing to see how much the last generation of the Mavic line has improved in the last couple of years. Noise is a thing of the past, and once again the vertical shot looks amazing. It is not quite up to the sensational performance of the Nano Plus in low light, but it still does an excellent job. Apart from low light, the two drones are in the same league, but with big differences in terms of detail and color rendition. The choice is mostly a matter of personal taste. 
Click on these links to watch my in-depth video about photography with the Mini and with the Auto Nano Plus. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.